Tourist resorts in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula are getting ready for a hit from Hurricane Beryl. Which is still packing a ferocious winds after slamming Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. Beryl has now re-strengthened to major category 3 off Mexico coast. It is headed for a landfall on the Yucatan Peninsula. The storm has already left a trail of destruction behind across the Caribbean and the coast of Venezuela, killing at least seven people. And Beryl is again quickly moving west-northwestward. You can see the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula here. Uh, the conditions are going to rapidly deteriorate along the east coast of the Yucatan Peninsula this evening and overnight, with the center expected to make landfall early Monday, or, or excuse me, early Friday morning along the east coast of the Yucatan. In Mexico, schools in the area bracing for a hit were suspended and shelters were set up for locals and tourists. Beryl is soon to hit the Yucatan Peninsula, emerging from the Gulf of Mexico and then arrive in the northern state of Chamalapas, which borders the U.S. Hurricane is expected to weaken to a tropical storm over land, but uh, we are forecasting some restrengthening here over the Gulf of Mexico as Beryl turns more northwestward and approaches the coast of northeastern, uh, northeastern Mexico and south Texas. We are forecasting it to be at or near hurricane strength uh, by Monday morning and expected to make landfall somewhere in that vicinity. It's a little too early to get very specific with, with where we expect those worst hazards. Hundreds of tourists were evacuated from hotels along Mexico's coastline while some were still attempting to take buses out of the impact zone. The Mexican army has deployed some 8,000 troops in Tulum and announced that it has food supplies and some 34,000 litres of purified water to distribute to the population. The hurricane has already caused flash floods and mudslides in the Cayman Islands after hours of heavy rain and strong wind. The streets of Grand Cayman were littered with tree branches and other debris and big waves still washed over the marina. But people stayed safe at home waiting for the authorities all clear before assessing the damage. Cleaning crew with machinery went out when the rain stopped to clear the roads. In Jamaica, local media reported that more than 400,000 people have been left without power. Hurricane Beryl toppled down trees jumbled fishing boats in Barbados and damaged or destroyed 95% of homes on a pair of islands in St. Vincent and Grenadines before rumbling past the Cayman Islands. Cleanup crews are diligently clearing, clearing up roads, of, roads full of debris and fallen trees in response to the storm's aftermath. No major damage to houses or other structures has been reported.